In this video, I will be reviewing and tearing down this Oremo power bank to see what is inside. This is the Oremo Power Jet 130 and it's a pretty impressive power bank. The Oremo Power Jet costs just 79,500 Naira before taxes and shipping and it is capable of a lot of things for this price. Upon getting it, I was encouraged to and I got very curious about what was on the inside. So I decided to take a look inside for this review. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's kick things off with what you get in the box for about 79,500 Naira. It's a pretty simple box that comes with the power bank itself, a 100 watt Type-C charging cable, a travel pouch, and a welcome guide. Well, I guess that's everything you would expect a power bank to come with. All right, let's take a quick look at some of the specs before we crack this open. First off, you're getting a 27,600 milliamp hour battery capacity, and it is designed to charge devices ranging from laptops to phones to cameras, drones, and other accessories. You get three ports that you can use at same time to charge other devices, two USB Type-C ports and one USB Type-A port. However, it only uses one Type-C port to charge up or charge itself. The Type-A port has a 24 watt output while the Type-C port at the top offers 100 watt output and the other one below gets you 30 watt charging. You can also generate power from multiple ports if you ever need a little more power for what you are trying to charge. The two Type-C ports get you a 120 watt output while the C1 and Type-A port get you 124 watts. When it comes to looks, this is a pretty minimalist design that Rymo has gone with. However, what will stand out the most is the LED display that shows important information regarding the device right on the front. Here you can see the percentage of the device, which of the ports are working at a time the power output or input for each port as well as the power flow in or out. Now let's talk about charging. Oremo claims it can charge the iPhone 15 Pro 7 times, the Techno Camon 26 times, the Galaxy S23 six and a half times, the iPad Pro three times, the MacBook Pro twice. Well, we tried to test these as much as possible, but before we get to that, Oremo made some even bigger promises. According to Oremo, charging this massive 27,600 mAh power bank with a 100 watt charger will get you up and running in just one hour and 30 minutes. Now this is important considering that you can use it for even longer depending on what you decide to charge with it. When it comes to charging other devices, it should be fast enough to take a 16 inch MacBook Pro from zero to 50% in 30 minutes and an iPhone 15 Pro to 60% in the same time. Well, here's how it performed based on our tests in the studio. We used a 14 inch M1 MacBook Pro for our test, which I reckon should require a little less power compared to the 16 inch version. Our test took nearly 80 minutes. That's one hour and 20 minutes to get the 14 inch M1 Pro from zero to 100%. In terms of the power bank's depletion, it went from 100% to 29% in the same 80 minutes. Technically, what this means is that it wouldn't necessarily charge your laptop twice, but one and a half times at least, which is not so bad if you ask me. Something else I noticed was that in 30 minutes, the power bank charged the laptop from zero to 54% and it still had 65% left. It's not a bad number if you have other devices to charge. Anyway, here's the 10 minute breakdown of our laptop charging test in this table. Speaking of other devices, for the next two tests, I charged the latest iPhone, the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the latest Samsung device, the S25 Ultra. The iPhone was turned on throughout this test and I don't think you can really charge iPhones off and keep track of the battery percentage as time goes on. The Oremo power bank took the iPhone 16 Pro Max from 0 to 100% in 2 hours and 25 minutes. And for the power bank, it went from 73% to 45%. I only lost 28% from this power bank to fully charge my iPhone, which is not so bad from where I'm Now, this charging was from the C1 port, by the way. Now, two hours and 25 minutes might look like a bad score, but when you zoom out fully, it only took one hour and 10 minutes to get this iPhone from zero to 80%, and the phone slow charged the rest of the way to 100%. Well, according to Apple, an iPhone charges slowly after 80% because of a feature called optimized battery charging. I didn't know that was turned on, but this is designed to extend the lifespan of your battery by intentionally slowing down the charging process when it's you know, near full capacity so that it will prevent unnecessary stress on the battery from being fully charged for extended periods of time. This is only available on the iPhone 15 models and later, so just 15 and 16, and you can adjust your charge limits beyond 80%. So essentially what happened was it took one hour to get from zero to 80% and then the next hour to get to 100%. Something else I noticed was that the charging time in 30 minutes with your Remo power bank and my iPhone 16 Pro Max was zero to 45%. So in 30 minutes, you get almost half 
the battery life back on your iPhone and you only lose 12% on the Uraimo, which is not so bad as well. Here's what the full table for the iPhone charging and the Uraimo power bank looks like. With the same cable, I charged the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, the latest Samsung, but this time the phone was off. It took one hour and two minutes for the S25 Ultra to go from 0% to 100% and it costs just 26% of battery life from the power bank, close to the 28% that we lost on the iPhone. With this test, I saw my power bank go from 43% to 17%. In 30 minutes, Oremo's power bank charged the S25 Ultra from 0 to 65% and only cost 16% from the power bank. Now we then charge this power bank with its 100 watt cable and a 100 watt power adapter. Within 30 minutes, this power bank charged from 0 to 56% and in one hour, it charged from 0 to 84%, which is very good. Around two minutes into this video, I mentioned Orimo's claim that this power bank will be fully charged in one hour and 30 minutes and they were right. With the right 100 watt adapter and their 100 watt cable in one hour and 30 minutes, this power bank went from zero to 99%. Safe to say, fully charged. Something to note is that this power bank lowered the charging speed to 56 watts once it got to 92%, and then it lowered it all the way to zero watts once it got to 100%, as you can see from my table here. Do note that you need a 100 watt power delivery adapter to achieve the same charging speeds. And based on the tests you've seen, it can actually charge a lot of things well, and you would have enough to charge another accessory or even your laptop over again to maybe 50% or like 70%. Do note that these are just my own tests and they're not like scientific tests, and it may vary for you. With all that in mind, let's see what this device has on the inside. Carrying all these features is more dangerous than good if the hardware components are not solid enough to handle all that power. You know, because with great power comes great responsibility. So these are the tools I'll be using for my teardown. The first thing I did was to pierce the rear side of the power bank and apply some heat so that the material binding the back and the batteries come off easily. I then break the clips internally and use the plastic pry tool to make sure that there are gaps as well as these blue clips to hold its space. Once it's off, I can see each of the four batteries with the specs written on them and some residue of the binding material on the back. Of course, it was very difficult to open this power bank and that's a good testimony for how strongly built this is. It took over an hour to get this open, so yeah, that shows that it didn't skimp on durability. By the way, if anything happens to your Rymo power bank, you can visit their car care centers and they'll sort it for you. That's pretty much it. If you found this video useful, do leave a like. And if you have any questions or feedback for me, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be right there chatting with you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the very next one.